The Magic Mask palette leverages the DaVinci Resolve AI neural engine to automatically create detailed masks. It allows you to isolate one or more people or objects within a frame, guided by simple user clicks. These masks are ideal for making targeted secondary adjustments. In conjunction with the other tools on the color page, you can generate masks for an entire subject or isolate specific features like a person's face, hair, or arms. When activated, a red onion skin overlays in the viewer showing precisely what Magic Mask is isolating. Let's explore using this tool by first navigating to the Magic Mask palette on the color page. First, ensure that the Add tool, the plus little eyedropper icon here, is selected. Next, click directly on a person or object you want to isolate. A blue click point will appear in the viewer. Magic Mask will analyze the image and generate an initial mask. You can click here to enable the mask overlay if it's not already active to see what the results are clearly. If the mask includes areas you don't want, select the subtract tool, this minus eyedropper. We can now click on parts of the image that shouldn't be included in the mask. Red click points will appear for subtractive guides. Once you have a satisfactory initial mask on the current frame, next we will need to track the motion in the clip. Let's use the track forward or track reverse buttons to analyze the clip and make the mask follow the subject. As the tracking progresses, we can see that represented in the click list as it fills with blue, indicating the tracked frames. The mask will update dynamically on each frame. Now let's go over the other controls to refine your mask. This toolbar contains the primary interaction tools. Go to reference frame. This will jump the playhead to the frame where you initially placed your clicks. Our next one, go to first frame of tracked area. Does exactly what it sounds like. It moves your playhead to the start of the current tracked range. Track one frame reverse. Tracks backward just one frame and stops. Useful for step-by-step -step analysis. Track reverse. Tracks continuously from the current frame to the beginning of the clip. Stop tracking. Track forward and reverse. Tracks forward to the end. Then returns to the start frame and tracks backward to the beginning, track forward, track one frame forward, go to last frame of track area. This jumps the playhead to the end of the currently tracked range. Next are the click tools. This one's add, we already used that. Click to identify areas that you want to include in the mask. This one's subtract. Click to identify areas you want to exclude from the mask. And then we have the paint tools. We have our add brush. We can manually paint into the mask on the current frame. Then we have the subtract brush. Manually paint out the mask on the current frame. And then here we have our paintbrush size where we can adjust the size of the paintbrush. Big thing to remember with all of the paintbrush tools is that they are frame specific, so they do not track. They're best used just for touch-ups. And then we have an invert mask button and then our mask overlay. This is what we use to visually see the mask with that red overlay. And then here is our click list. This has all of our adds and subtract clicks. You can click on them to identify where they are. And if they're not needed, you can hit the trash can. And then here's all the controls to refine the generated mask. Quality, faster for quicker processing, but potentially looser masks. These are good for garbage mats. Better for higher detail and accuracy, which requires a bit more processing. Smart Refine is only available with the better quality option, allows for intelligent expansion or contraction of the mask based on the image analysis. We're already at the three minute mark and we have all these parameters still to go over. Grab a coffee boys, we're doing this rapid fire. Next, let's quickly go over the matte finesse controls. Mode, shrink will erode, grow will dilate, opening will erode then dilate, Closing will dilate, then erode. Shape defines the shape used for the selected mode operation. Radius sets a pixel's range or size of the area affected by the refinement operation using the chosen shape. Iterations controls how many times the refinement process like shrink or grow are applied, strengthening their effect. Smoothing reduces sharp transitions and jaggedness within the body of the mat itself. Denoise cleans up small noisy speckles or artifacts present in the mat area. Blur radius softens the edges of the mask. In and out ratio adjusts the softness bias, controlling how much of a blur fall off inside versus outside of the original mask edge. Clean black used to remove small isolated black spots within the mask area. Clean white used to expand the mat slightly to fill small isolated white spots within the mask area. Post filter applies a final blur across the entire resulting mat. Magic Mask 2 was redesigned for dramatically better performance when it comes to pattern and shape recognition, leading to improved results. Well, I think I was able to cover everything there with Magic Mask 2. Give the video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.